Alright, so what I want to do next is I want to have a shadow coming out from under that plate. And a lot of plates have sort of a raised edge to it where there's a relief area on the inside. So I'm going to look for a color that I think, hmm, I think with this yellow, I'm going to use some red and I'm going to put a contour edge along here. To show this part is the raised area, but then down in there is the part the food actually sits on. So I'm going to pull the red down towards that. And then maybe because of the cake, there's a little bit of a shadow back here on the plate, but instead of jumping straight to black, I'm going to use another color there. But then I'm going to put a shadow, or contact shadow rather, under the edge of the plate. And since my shadow for the cake comes this way, that's where I'm going to pull that contact shadow. But then the plate itself is going to cast a bit of a shadow on the surface it would be sitting on. So I'm going to pull that out from under there. And what happens a lot on something like this, especially this curve shape, is you kind of find the line or the edge of the plate's a little disrupted there. Like it was nice and curved and we could see it before, but my blending has kind of gotten rid of it. But we know how chalk works, so I'm going to go back and use that to replace the edge of my plate. So cleaning up that line from my messy blending. Now it looks ready to serve.